I was walking through Smithfield the other day and took shelter from the sun in the churchyard of St Bartholomew the Great. I noticed that the church was open, so I decided to pop inside for a look around this majestic historic building. I hadn't been inside for years. St Bartholomew the Great was founded in 1123 by a courtier of Henry I called Rahia. I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation. Depending on how you judge such things, it's the oldest church in London that's held continuous services or something along those lines. Um, All Hallows by the Tower is built on the site of a 7th century Saxon church. There's only like a stone arch that still survives of that church. And there would have been a church on the site of St Paul's that dates back to around the same time, sort of early 7th century. Rahia was an intriguing character being listed variously as a courtier, a jester, a minstrel and a cleric. He was actually listed as a canon of St Paul's Cathedral in 1115. He embarked on a pilgrimage to Rome following the White Ship disaster in 1120 when the heir to the throne of England sank on a ship along with 300 nobles, barons and sailors. Apparently, the only survivor was said to be a butcher from Rouen. There's a great novel about this, by the way, called The White Ship. Highly recommended. Rahia developed a fever on his pilgrimage to Rome and in the grip of this illness, vowed to build a church for the poor in London if he ever recovered. On his journey back to London, he had a vision of the Apostle Bartholomew who commanded him to build a church upon the smooth field. Smithfield. You can see a statue by the artist Damien Hirst of St Bartholomew called Exquisite Pain. It's currently on loan to the church. King Henry I supported the building of the church, uh, an Augustinian priory and a hospital of St Bartholomew, which started in 1123. The church was only partially complete at the time of Rahir's death in 1145. But Rahir has never left the church, he's still there in his tomb. The one that you see now was rebuilt in 1405. During the reformation of the church, the priory was dissolved in 1539 and the nave of the church was demolished. The rest of the church and the priory were mostly preserved. The Elizabethan style timbered porch was the main entrance to the priory. The 17th century tower contains five medieval bells. It's said that the Virgin Mary appeared to Canon Hubert in what's believed to be the only visitation of the Virgin Mary in London, hence the uh, Lady Chapel here at the church. Benjamin Franklin worked as a typesetter in the print shop that was housed in part of the old priory site. St Bartholomew the Great has appeared in a number of films, most notably Four Weddings and a Funeral and Shakespeare in Love. It really is one of the marvels of London and I massively, massively recommend a visit. Thank you for joining me on this short stroll around St Bartholomew the Great. And uh, as I always like to say, I look forward to seeing you on the next walk, wherever that may be. And it will be significantly longer than this one.